what is the value of the fraction 2t plus t minus x over t minus x? Well, before we proceed to the statements, we're going to simplify this. And we're going to use a law of fractions that tells us that if we have addition in the numerator of a fraction, we can just split that up into two fractions. This is sort of the opposite of finding the common denominator and adding the fractions to begin with. So here what we have is 2t plus, and I'll write it over here, t minus x over t minus x. Well, I'm going to write that as 2t over t minus x plus t minus x over t minus x. And of course, t minus x over t minus x, anything over itself is 1. So really, this whole fraction simplifies to 2t over t minus x plus 1. And so if we knew the value of 2t over t minus x, we could simply add 1, and we'd get the value of the whole fraction. So statement number 1 comes and tells us that 2t over t minus x is 3. It basically hands us an answer on the silver platter. So if this is 3, we just add 1, and the whole fraction is 4. Very easy to determine the value of the fraction. So this one is completely sufficient. Now forget about that, move on to statement number two. Statement number two tells us that t minus x equals five. Well, that would give us the denominator of the fraction, but if we know t minus x, there'd be no way to solve for the value of t and no way to determine the numerator of the fraction. And because of that, we would be unable to determine the value of the fraction overall. So this statement by itself is insufficient. If all this talk about fractions and numerators and denominators is confusing to you, I'd highly recommend check out Magoosh.com. Magoosh is an online test prep agency that prepares people for the GMAT. We have a few hundred videos preparing people for all the math you need to know for the GMAT, also a few hundred on the verbal side. And this includes videos that will tell you everything you need to know about fractions, about numerators and denominators, and all the related algebra in order to be successful on the GMAT. So statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. Answer choice A.